What's going on, everybody? As you see from the title, Sasha just ain't horny enough anymore. So I decided to fix the big ugly spot that Harley Davidson decided to put on her and actually hide it. So I'm going to share that with you today. So you can go from this to this. So stick around. All right, so Harley puts that big old nasty cowbell right here that covers up these beautiful jugs. I got tired of it covering up my motor, so I decided to remove it. So what I did was I unbolted a cowbell, unplugged it, set it to the side, removed these two bolts right here, pulled the bracket off. I cut the bracket where that rubber piece fell off and I, paint, I cleaned up the edge, painted it, flipped it upside down so the cut edge is actually back here. Bolted it back in, torqued it down. Now you'll still have your wire hanging, so there's a zip tie that you have to cut actually on the bracket. Then there's another one that was up here and one right around the frame. And once you cut those, I'm going to show you what to do on the other side. All right, so when you get to this step, you're going to have to take your tank off. But when the wire comes out, you got to fish it through the little, there's uh, about three or four wires going up through there with a zip tie you got to cut fish that wire for the horn through it's just a red and black wire you pull it through run it down the factory trough right through here my wire is right here for the horn so what i did was i put a all weather automotive electrical quick disconnect right here i did that for the reasoning of if I ever did decide to get rid of the bike and whoever bought it, they wanted to put the cowbell back on, they could just undo it, rerun it, re-zip tie it, plug it up, and it's done. So I got the quick disconnect, ran it through a little, little cubby right back here, which I have the headlight back in so you really can't see, but it'll come out through the square, pull it out, route it right up through there and right through this bracket right around up to here this is where i put the horn now here's some things you got to know with these horns if you go and tighten them down they will sound like they're underwater for some reason does not matter how tight I have the bolt or how loose I have it, it still sounds like it's underwater. So what I did was I found a grommet and pushed it up from the underside, put some sticky tape around the back side of the horn, shoved it up through there. It's not going anywhere. And for everybody that wants to know how it sounds, Uh, as you can see, it works the way it's supposed to. Now, the reason I didn't put a nut on the top was because I have it double sticky and I have it going through a one-sided grommet that is a extremely tight fit. So it's not pushing down. It's, if it vibrates, it'll just sit there and move around. If something happens and it does fall, it's not going anywhere because of the air duct wiring in front of it and the wire actually hold it on so with it being that simple and it works i'm running it that way if i have any future problems or any modifications to this setup i will let you know i have only seen one other person on youtube actually mount the horn there they actually went up to the second spot there's two holes already pre-drilled they went to the top hole I utilize the bottom hole. It was just easier to get to, especially dealing with that grommet. So if you have any questions, reach me in the comments or run over my Instagram, Tweedle underscore D underscore TN. Send me a message and 
I can get into more detail if I have not hit that detail. I wish I had the tank off, but it's already put back together, so I'm not taking it off to show the trough and all that. But when you pull your tank off, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's really self-explanatory, really easy to do. I'll also put the link in the description for the ply, the crimpers for the disc, uh, quick disconnects, the quick disconnects, the cloth electrical tape, and 16 gauge uh, wire, just a red and a black. And you have the job done and your jugs are wide open. So hopefully this uh, showed you a different way of doing things that's a little bit easier and uh still have the front end off for a reason uh so come back for the next episode where i am doing well i can't say doing because i already did underglow kit with a twist of course i got to be different so i added some to my underglow kit and i want to show you exactly how i did that also so i will see you on the next one